viruses are small infectious agents that can basically infect living cells and take over the processes that take place within that cell. Now there are many different types of viruses that exist in nature and one way by which we can classify our viruses is based on the nucleic acid that is found within our virus. Now there are two major categories of viruses. We have DNA viruses which contain single or double-stranded DNA and we also have RNA viruses that contain single or double-stranded RNA molecules. Now let's begin by discussing DNA viruses. Now although single-stranded DNA viruses do exist and one example is the inovirus that infects bacterial cells, the more common type of DNA virus is the one that contains the double-stranded DNA. Now basically what the DNA virus does is it infects that cell by essentially injecting our nucleic acid, the single or double-stranded DNA molecule inside that cell. And that DNA basically ends up in the nucleus of our cell. Now once in the nucleus of that cell, it can basically use the infected host cell's machinery, it can use the infected host cell's polymer race enzymes to basically transcribe as well as replicate the DNA molecule. So transcription of DNA into RNA and then into mRNA can take place and then that viral mRNA can be used to produce our uh, proteins by using the cell's ribosomes in the cytoplasm of that cell. So basically, the viral DNA utilizes the cell's polymerase enzymes to replicate the viral DNA within the nucleus and then it can also be used to basically transcribe into uh, mRNA and the mRNA can be used to form the proteins needed for the survival of our viruses. And one such example of a double-stranded DNA that follows this pathway are adenoviruses. Now, some DNA, and these are much less common, but some DNA actually carry their own polymerase enzymes. And that means the DNA doesn't actually have to go into the nucleus. It can stay in the cytoplasm of that host cell and it can replicate and transcribe inside that cytoplasm to form the viral proteins that are needed for the survival of our virus. And one example of such a DNA virus is the pox virus. Now, let's move on to the RNA virus. So, we saw that the double-stranded DNA viruses are much more common than single-stranded DNA virus. For RNA viruses, it's the opposite. So, although we do have some examples of double-stranded RNA viruses, the single-stranded RNA viruses are much more common. So RNA viruses basically inject their RNA molecules, the RNA nucleic acids, into the cytoplasm of that whole cell. And once inside the cytoplasm, the RNA can be used to synthesize the proteins or the RNA can be used to basically transcribe into mRNA and then that viral mRNA can be used to form the proteins needed for the virus to actually survive. Now, a special category of RNA viruses include something called a retrovirus. So, these viral agents, these RNA viruses, contain a protein enzyme known as reverse transcriptase. And what reverse transcriptase basically does is once the RNA is in, inside the cytoplasm of the cell, the reverse transcriptase basically transcribes our RNA into DNA, which is in the opposite direction of normal transcription. And then once that viral DNA is synthesized, it can go into the nucleus of that cell, and in the nucleus of the cell, it can be incorporated or integrated with the cell's own DNA genome. Now, when the cell replicates, 
replicates its DNA and divides, it passes down the viral DNA portion to the offspring cells. And one common example of an RNA virus known as the uh, retrovirus that infects um, humans is known as HIV or human immunodeficiency virus. Now, the next type of category within RNA viruses that we're going to discuss are plus strand RNA and minus strand RNA, also known as uh, positive strand RNA and negative strand RNA viruses. Now, what exactly is the plus strand or the positive strand RNA virus? So these are the viruses that contain the RNA molecules that serve directly as the mRNA. So once our plus stranded RNA virus inject the RNA into the cytoplasm, that same RNA is used to translate into proteins to synthesize those proteins. However, in minus strand RNA viruses, the viral RNA that is injected into the cytoplasm must first be transcribed, must first be modified into the mRNA before it can actually be used to synthesize our protein. So this is the major difference between plus stranded RNA virus and minus strand RNA virus. So let's basically go over the summary of the differences between DNA viruses and RNA virus. Three major differences basically exist. So DNA viruses are predominantly in the double-stranded form. They have double-stranded DNA, while RNA viruses predominantly come in the single-stranded RNA form. Now, DNA replication occurs in the nucleus while RNA transcription replication takes place within the cytoplasm of our cell. And finally, DNA viruses must first transcribe DNA into RNA before the proteins can actually be synthesized. However, for RNA viruses, they basically contain the RNA that can be used pretty much directly to synthesize our protein. So we see our RNA viruses basically bypass the DNA to RNA transcription process. They can use that RNA to basically translate to synthesize our proteins. And these are the major differences between DNA and RNA viruses. And once again, within the RNA viruses, we have the plus strand RNA and the minus strand RNA virus. Plus strand simply means the RNA is used directly as the mRNA to synthesize the proteins. The minus strand RNA means that RNA must first be transcribed into mRNA to actually synthesize those proteins and a special type of RNA virus, also known as the retrovirus, exists. Retroviruses uh, contain these special enzymatic proteins known as reverse transcriptase that can basically transcribe the RNA into the DNA, which then can be incorporated into the genome of that cell, which can be passed down to the offspring cells during replication and division of that cell.